How's it going? Just got home from cutting a load of wood. I've got literally half an hour to get ready for dinner. Quick update. Pam 700 didn't start. When we got out there, filled it up. Filled up with bar oil. Choke, no choke. Eventually the rope broke inside and cracked the shit, spilled away. Then I picked up the... 365 Husky. I uh, did quickly did a, a muffler mod with the step bit last night. I went all the way in. I reckon once I put the pipe in, like the 660, and oh, I really wanted to put this muffler on it, but I can't. I can't get the OEM one off the. Screws are rusted in there, can't get nothing in there to get them out, so that's why I drilled it. I ran that out of fuel. I'm cutting 18 inch, 18 up to 21 inch timber, as you'll see in the video. So that's, I might have to go back in and retime it. it I reckon it's lacking. RPM and torque, but the oil, something going on with the oil pump, it's leaking and the clutch, it's making the clutch strip, slip. Then I picked up 660, things an animal, I reckon I can, I can get more out of it. It's pulling a 20. The thing was an animal when I built it with a 20 inch, because I got it with a 20 inch Chinese bar and chain which I believe I still have no that's all I, went, I think that went on the MS310 when I sold it last year um, I put three quarters of a tank in the 660 I made about Eight cuts, eight or nine cuts, and it was out of fuel. Uh, the 660 was the most used saw today. Uh, 670, as soon as I put the chain in the timber, it wanted to cut directly straight away like that. So my sick machine sharpened last night's no good. Actually, the chain's sharp, but the raker gauge, for some reason, takes more material off one tooth, one side than the other. Can't work it out. Anyway, put the videos up. Hope you enjoy. I don't have many, for some reason. There's only five, I think. Two videos of the 365 first start. I'll put them in order, I think. Anyway, have a good night catches when I'm doing something else here also the solo 670 the needle the metering lever is too high it's too rich I think I end up going to half a turn out on the high and it was just mental So I've got, still got to do some filling with that, but I can still test it here. I've got some logs unsplit. See you all later. Have, have a good night. See you. How's it going? Also forgot to mention 3300 Paul. And, uh, it's got a 22 inch bar on it. Full chisel. I did a mean hand file on that last night. Uh, first time I run the saw since I got it from Ken. It's got an air leak, suspected air leak. It's hard to tune. But I cut a full, uh, roughly a foot down to eight, six or eight inch tree, a whole tree with that saw. I was throwing chips three meters behind me, but I did take the baffle out as soon as I got that saw, so 
it's definitely going to need a carb kit. I might have to do seals, but I'll set up the um, the saw stand that I used to have there back back here, and we might do a little uh, diagnose video maybe on that. I'd like to. The only saws I didn't take today were, I was going to take the A7S. I've got a 17 inch bar there, 404. Would have liked to try the 603, but I'll, I'll leave that here, 2100. I haven't even run mine yet. I tried that 17 inch bar at Chains, at Craig's house, and because I didn't have the correct mount for the oil hole, and I didn't really want to mod the bar, but I didn't do that. and. The 662, I haven't run the Super Pro 81 yet. <coughs> Ported 662. Right there. Um, 039 race toy. I've got to get to Edwards and get the new crank case for that. Plus it needs an oil pump. Chain brake band, flag. I think they're all there maybe. Um, the 660 suspected spun bearings. Uh, I started it up when I, every time I started it today. It, had like a scraping sound, so I might have to split it again and check the bearings. No, they're not Chinese bearings. And no, I didn't put those bearings in it. Um, yeah, so I better get crap cracking. So. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 